I think it's a very good opportunity to, to every League of Legends players in the Southeast Asia server because you don't have to qualify as a PGS player or a professional player anymore. You, you just really have to have a good team with good synchronization and, of course, mechanical skills to back it up. Well, thank you so much for that, Rox. That has been some of the uh, insights of the new format entering the Globe Conquerors Manila. So, guys, welcome back towards the group stages. We are now in Group B, the last match. So, my name is Vulcan. With me is Crazy Apple. Thank you so much for the returning viewers right now. We hope that, of course, you're enjoying the game once. But for the returning viewers, I can somehow sense the Philippines, the Philippines crowd and also the Indonesian, Indonesian squad you know, gathering for this last match because we have, we have a trend here today. Yeah, and these two teams right now, they're both 0-2 at this yeah. point. And I think this is the last hope of two countries, of both Indonesia and the Philippines, to see after two days of the group stages so far from the G uh, Globe Concourse Manila, to at least have one win mm. in the back for each country. So let's check out the standings to have a short recap of what happened during our match Five. That was actually a very close game, but on top it is going to be Mega Esports taking away the first spot, followed by Kuala Lumpur Hunters. Right now, we are seeing the trend. It's going to be, as I said before, Group A. Looks like the sister team is pretty, feeling pretty proud because it's going to be another Thailand team in Group B being in the first seed. And now, Archangel and Bigatron Esports will fight out for one point before ending this day. Yeah, and these two teams, they really need to get this win because if you go, if you leave the first day 0-3, it's going to be really hard. Your chances to get into the semifinals on Saturday, on August 18th, are going to be really, really slim. So I think when it comes to the schedule, like I said before, guys, right now it's going to be Big Eternity Esports versus Archangel. This is going to be the last match for today. So... It's been a long day of casting, long day of games, especially our players. So, and to our viewers still uh, loyally watching us right now, you know, we thank you so much for your support. And we hope that we did cater towards you. And of course, in the end, you enjoy a good game. But I think it's ready. It's time. Let us move on to the drafting phase. Last game. Let's get straight to it. Bigatron Esports on the blue side versus Archangel on the red side. Yeah, and immediately Bigatron Esports banning out that Zoe. We <laughs> did see Zoe getting picked in the previous game. I guess we won't be seeing her this time around. It's cool. Okay, I think you mentioned to me during our break that there was a player under the radar. Oh, it was more of a secret. Mm -hmm. He was playing that Zoe and it's more of... We didn't really see a lot of big plays from Secret in the previous game, but we see how, we saw how effective he was in team fights. He kept landing those bubbles, kept landing those paddle stars that would just keep on chunk, uh, chunking down Kuala Lumpur Hunters. He got high towards the Zoe pick, but in the end, Big Eternity Sports will be removing that pick. And now we will be expecting... Okay, we're seeing a Rakan ban as always. Our Angel. Okay, we're not gonna use the Aatrox. We're just gonna remove the double dark gains here. Varus and Aatrox being removed. Yeah, and with that Varus ban though, it mostly translates to me that apart from Archangel, doesn't really or probably Zentro doesn't really want to be using that champion right now. They might be going for what uh, Kuala Lumpur Hunters did earlier with banning a lot of marksmen. We'll see if they do ban a marksman in their third ban for this first round. That's gonna be the fact that Bigatron Esports going for a widespread ban here. Nocturne, Rakan, Zoe being removed. Phase two is uh, phase one will conclude here for the banning phase. Camille. Hmm. Understandable ban Camille is somehow oh. it can be a flex. But you don't want to risk it. Yeah, you don't really want to risk that Camille pick. And it's probably you know, it's actually questionable that Archangel did ban that Camille because knowing Ivalis, he plays that champion a lot. Knowing also from his solo queue account, but at the same time, Bigatron Esports immediately locking in that Talia pick. While for Archangel, they do get that Tom Kench and we're still waiting for their second pick. Look at that. Tom Kench going to Rox. Rox has used this champion really well. Yeah. It's, in his, it's in a way his favorite, but okay. 
instantly showing their cards here. Kaisa and Tom Kench in the bot side. Yeah, and with this Kaisa pick, it already tells us that Archangel is looking for a more scaling composition with this Kaisa. But at the same time, the Tom Kench would provide a lot of protection in the later parts of the game. And now here, Saya. But Rakan is banned, so what support will go well with Asaya? Well, we've been if there's no Rakan on the field, we've been seeing probably Shen pick to be the support with this Saya, but we'll we'll wait and see. What do they choose? Oh, and they are locking in that Brahm. Mm, Brahm with Zaya. I mean, there's the layer protection. It's a melee to melee, so I think they will we'll feel comfortable picking up this Brahm. But now, Archangel, last pick. What's it gonna be? We have a jungle. They're gonna match it Ooh. too. They're also gonna match it with oh, a jungle it. band. Yeah, and they do lock in that Lee Sin. And we did see a Lee Sin yesterday from Ascension Lloyd. He wasn't, you wouldn't see a lot of flashy plays coming from Lloyd on that decent, but he was really effective on that pick. Let's see if Nixa can dictate the early parts of the game since we see a lot of decents before that can just snowball in the early game. And when now we're seeing Archangel banning at the Swain, at this point, banning at the Swain in phase two. What is Archangel trying to read here? Because bigger than esports, they know that there's no top laner. They're gonna be removing this Gnar. Hmm. Well, they'll probably remove that Swain because they don't, don't want Bigatron to pick that up probably for the mid lane against mm -hmm. Trevor. But it looks like they did ban the Galio. Well, you mentioned earlier that Bigatron did ban that Gnar, which suggests they might be going for a more either a tank or someone um, or a melee champion in the top lane that cannot be mm -hmm. easily bullied. And they do ban that cannon, which would immediately translate that they're probably going to go for a split for sure in the top lane. Or probably another tap. And we're also going to see here Archangel going for the Rise. So we know that uh, in the PH region, we know they can use Rise. But we have seen, we have yet to see teams who can utilize the Realm really well. I mean, we're going to be seeing Abyssal Voyage, one more. I want to see more cross map plays for Archangel, but for Bigaton Esports. Look at that. The Trundle is going to be locked in instantly. And it's going to be uh, Darius locked in instantly. But switching up for that was a hover, guys. Mm -hmm. Hang on. That was a hover. You were talking about a split pushing champion. Yeah. And we're going to see it here, a Fiora. Yeah, and they do lock in that Fiora. It is a bit of a blind pick, though, against Archangel. Because this Rise can still go in the mid lane in the hands of Trevor. So we'll see where this rise would go to but immediately we now know that Talia is probably going in the mid lane Jace to Fiora or it could be Jace mid rise stop as you said it's gonna be a flex 53 seconds left on the timer let's see the final rotations final switches here and there for both teams but for Big Turn Esports it's easier to read it at Talia in the mid lane we've seen it before but in a way you think that it's going to be more suited in the jungle, but looks like Pikachu will flex that to the mid lane. Yeah, and we actually saw Talia yesterday in the mid lane in the hands of Exo, and Talia was moved more in the jungle role because a lot of mid laners believe that she did not have the same strength as before in terms of uh, clearing the waves, in terms of lane priority. She used to have this really fast clear, especially on the range minions at level 1. Now she doesn't have that since her Q is single target, so but she still deals a lot of damage. So we'll see how Bigatron Esports will be able to utilize their composition. It looks like they have that split pressure on the Fiora and some some elements of a siege, especially they have that disengage from the mm. Trundle. It's gonna be something that's worth watching, not to mention Archangel drafting a rice top against a Fiora. How mm. does that match up turn out? Hmm. Well, I haven't really seen a lot of uh, Fiora versus Rice, but I would say that a lot of range versus melee matchups are, I would say, a skill matchup since Fiora does have some mobility in the form of her Q. She can get near the Rise, but not enough of her dashes will be able to close that gap immediately. The Rise can simply uh, rune, rune prison her so that she won't be able to reach the Rise. But at the same time, if if the Fiora was able to predict when the Rune Prison would activate and she blocks it with her parry and she hits the Rise with a stun, then that's the moment for her to go oh. all in. So we'll see how that skill matchup comes down, but it's probably going to be mostly a uh, safe farming lane for Ivalis in the top lane. So for those viewers just tuning in right now, you've heard it here from uh, Crazy Apple. Some in-depth analysis of how things will turn out in the top side, but we're going to be seeing it all into Summoner's Rift. This is going to be our last match for today the day two of the group stages for group B. So, 
Bigaton Esports will be playing on the blue side versus Archangel on the red side. We do have the hashtags here. Hashtag PRT BTR win or hashtag Arc win for our viewers out there to spam in the chat and cheer on. Yeah, and we also have the hashtag uh, Globe Conquers Manila, hashtag Globe Gaming, and most importantly, hashtag Road to Worlds. And I do believe we are now ready to get into Summoner's Rift. Lock and load it, load it up in the rift, everything is ready. Game 6 starts right now. Thank you so much for watching the GCM Group Stages Day 2 of Bikachon Esports versus Archangel, the last match for today. Now let's see who will take away one victory and who will take away. Uh, I hope they, I don't want to say it as a good thing at 0 3 because we're going to be seeing someone with a 0 3 at the end of the day. Yeah, we'll, we'll also be seeing someone be sad. that will end the day 1 2 though. You know, hope, I think all of the fans right now who are watching, especially those in Indonesia, would want Bigatron Esports to want to win. But the home crowd here in the Philippines would especially want Archangel to break the Philippine streak. Currently, the Philippines isn't really doing that well. So we'll see if Archangel would be that hope for the country right now. Mm -hmm. And so far, we're going to be seeing Archangels being scouted out by Dreams. Check out Roxas Keystone. You're going to be seeing... A mix of summoner spells with the Unseal Spellbook there. So Archangel, like again, will be playing on the red side. And we're now seeing wards being established, standard wards in the river. Yeah, but that really deep ward from Bigatron Esports in the blue buff of Archangel, they are now able to spot probably where Nixa is going to start. He is starting on this red buff right now. So I want to see more aggression from Archangel at the start of the game. Because you're talking about Lee Sin. You would want to snowball your lanes. And I think for some Trundle junglers, the really great ones, you know that you can go for aggressive ganks too with the Ice Peller. Yeah, and also there's this really complicated play that Zico could do whenever Nixa would probably go for the counter, counter jungle against it. If he gets hit with that resonating strike, he can stop it midway with the pillar. But at the same time, we'll see what what Nixa decides to do. He can try to just keep on uh, punishing Zico and keep on the counter jungle, which we saw earlier from Caspia. He really, really counter jungle Zico heavily. That's why he got a huge lead in terms of the CS count. But Nixta can be more proactive going for these gas since Lee Sin provides a lot of mobility across the map. Oh, but he did get spotted by that Juicy War. They know what's up. They will do realize that he is in the Raptor side. So the thing here is for Zico. Right now in the blue side, I wonder if he's gonna try and exchange a same invade. Yeah, but we'll see if Zico tries to go for the Raptor camp right now, Nixa is just finishing off that Raptors. But the same, yeah, we do Zico, we do see Zico going into the Raptor camp, and Nixa just go into that Krug camp right now. Okay, we're gonna be seeing here BTR changing up their path. They're gonna be reflecting each other, going for invades one after another. But at least Nixa, he can try and position himself for more aggressive invades. But maybe he can eye the bot lane. Yeah, if. Bigatron Esports bot lane decides to shove the lane right now and try to extend, then Nixa might be able to get behind them. It All looks right. like there's going to be a trade here. They're going to bait it out. Nixa coming in from the Croc side. That's going to be Dreams in and up by Rocks. He's going to be resonating in, flashing out from the bomb. They're going to be the first one to take it. One final bomb. They can't reach it. Archangel could not get the first blood, but thankfully BTR will survive the gang coming from Nexta. Yeah, and apart from not getting that kill, they do get both the Flash and Ignite from Dreams, and both of the bot laners from Bigatron Esports are now backing off while a huge wave is crashing down, but I do believe Bravo is using his teleport to get back in that bottom lane. He's gonna be joining his friends so he can catch all the waves here, so won't be losing it too much. 
but we do know that BTR, especially Bravo, does not have the TP. But now, I was talking about, we were both actually talking about aggression that we wanted to see from Nexta on the scene. We got what we wanted, but at the same time, we could also anticipate maybe more results. But at the same time, Zico, can he go for the counter jungle or counter gang? But looks like Zico <laughs> did not see it coming. His Raptors wasn't clear, so that's gonna buy some time. Yeah, and that's super annoying right now. Not a lot of junglers when they counter jungle would do that, but Trevor getting gang. That was a great pillar, but the same that the shove was on top of it. No double pile up there from MT of BTR, but great, great attempt there from uh, Big Eternity Esports. But right now, Archangel, it's about aggression after aggression. Matching the pace. Yeah, and with that flash burn from Trevor, we'll see if Zico can take advantage of that and go back to the mid lane for another gank since this, the Jace won't have another uh, a flash in the next five minutes. Okay, next style uh, dribbling the ball here. 678 HP is gonna be meeting against oh. Zico. Okay, with the smite secure. And now, what's this? Zico rotating towards the mid lane to catch the wave. Yeah, and it's just Trevor shoving the lane in the mid lane and Zico just collecting the wave that's crashing right now. Since Empty would be missing that, but at least resources are going to other members. Mm -hmm. So, talk about resource. Talk about the gold. Who is it going to most here? You can see in the CS, it's really not that big. I mean, it's not enough to tilt anything into anyone's favor. But maybe it could be something for Archangel to work with here because we are seeing a Lee Sin kind of falls off late game, but at least we're seeing some aggression. That's what we need to see here. Yeah, and right now Zico is just oh trying man. to find where Nixta is, but empty. Oh god. Oh god. Level there five, is a not level six. Level five, not level six. An ultimate is available. A great devour by Rock, saving Zancho. Four members of BTR instantly spawn it out. Here comes Trevor. There's the Weaver's Wall. In the nick of time, the ultimate has been unlocked. Looks like they will be in time to just cut off the members of Archangel. Yeah, and Archangel right now is looking to close on this bot lane. Oh, Trevor sees it. He's going to be dealing with Zico and MT going in for the burst. And Knight is taking to Zico. Trevor cannot come in. He gets the first pass thanks to the tech from the Ignite. Bravo, Dreams, gonna get caught. Nixta gets caught from his team. Dreams and Bravo zoning them out. Yeah, and Minky actually using his teleport already in this bot lane. Well, I Ivalis, I believe, used his teleport earlier to get back in the lane. He now has free farm in the top side, but we do see the members of Bigatron Esports right now going back to their respective lanes. Empty, just probably gonna answer the shove that Ivalis has on the top side. Okay, he knows he's gonna lose some waves here, so instead he just takes away the waves from this Talia. They're gonna be going for a swap. Looks like Empty will be dealing with Ivalice for the meantime. Yeah, and I'm not sure how long this shove will be, but there is a trade in the bot lane. Oh, Zancho's Ignite is ticking right now. Oh god, that's bad. Is he gonna die from the burn? Oh, great flash out, but Bravo tried to secure the kill with his own a trade of flash in the bot lane. Yeah, and I believe that was a really greedy... Oh, there's another fight here. Robeson, Paris, Tony goes to connect. What a great double shot! Empty going in, but that's gonna be Minky taken down by next up with a huge burst from the Lee Sin. Yeah, and there was also a fight in the bot lane where Rock was able to get the kill on Zico. My god, that was a great burst from Nekta. I mean, we talked about the changes to Lee Sin. Looks like they feed it right now. Kill scores 1-3 to three near the 8 minute mark. Yeah, and he also immediately bought that Tiamat, which gives him a lot more damage, we, which we did see right there. He did have that buff in this patch where his Q, instead of dealing percent health max, uh, percent max health damage, it now uh, increases the damage from his Q up to 100%. So even if you're a squishy target that doesn't really have a lot of HP, you're still going to feel the full brunt of damage coming from that Lee Sin Q. Man, and maybe you won't be enough to survive that. So, seeing how things are panning out here, BTR right now. First turn is something they can have a grab for. I wonder if something Archangel can do here. Yeah, and right now, we see that the lanes are kind of, kind of not really in a position where there's a lot of aggression. Bigatron 
esports bot lane just shov shoving this bot lane right now. It looks like they are they want to keep tabs on Nixta. They always try to put wards in the blue up side jungle, and right now Zico is on the other side of the map. Keeping, and they really want to know where Nixta is, but the thing is. Uh, Bigatron has to be in punish a lot whenever Nyxta goes for these guys. Oh, but looks like they want to look for more here. Rama coming in. Ivel is still alive. Ooh, that was a pretty close call. Grand Challenge will heal up Minky. Here comes Nyxta. 40 counter gag, but Nyxta's quite low. Rocks coming in with a teleport play. We were small for the call off, but that's the way Nyxta going in. Another Zico. Shock pass misses the dragon. What a dragon rage from Nyxta. Sets up the kill for Trapper. And Rocks, what a save with the Devourer. Forcing out the flash from Empty. You're not going anywhere. Come back here. That's going to be Archangel wrapping it up. And I can't believe that Nexta oh. was able to survive, but Zico, he might be giving up his oh, life here. Oh, what a snipe! It's goal! Yeah, it goal right there for Trevor. Archangel picking up, I believe, three kills. But on the other side of the map, though, Pikachu Esports, since they knew that Rocks keep it to the top side, they were able to pick up Zencho and eventually the first third of the game. Three kills in the back. But Archangel, they have lost the first turn of the game to BTR. At least BTR, they found something across the map. They got that first turn, and that is big for BTR. Because at least we can't give them everything. Let's try and buy some time here because BTR, they've lost hefty from that red side battle. Yeah, but at the same time, you, you were mentioning how BTR are trading objectives across the map, but Tripper almost getting caught out right there. But yeah, going back, Archangel, yeah, they did not get any structure right out, but they do get this Rift Herald, I believe. Uh -huh, but they're up. stopping Nyxta. Nyxta not getting that buff. Will any member of Archangel be able to pick up pick oh, that up? No, that is something you don't want to face there. That's not gonna last. Final spot exposed. Zenjo trying to back away. Final spot pop by Minky taking down Zenjo. And I believe that is a mistake what from Zenjo, but drive, he Zen. did pick that up. But Ooh. will he give up his life at the same time? Oh, no, he flashes. Great job there. Rox had thick skin just for safety. But what did Rox do there? He got the Eye of the Herald! What a hero for Archangel. Yeah, he did pick up that Rift Herald. Because he did have that flash, he ulted in. But there are three members right now from Bigatron Esports. Okay, we're nearing our 12 minute mark here. But BTR, they're playing the turret game here. They want to get more turrets from Archangel. We see a lot of wards invested in the top side. Teleport being used by Zencho to respond to three-man push. In the top lane. Yeah, and there are two members of Archangel, but I do believe they are not enough to be able to defend oh, this turret. They're heavily being macroed by BTR here. They have to respond. Meanwhile, in the bot side, we can see the Fiora being pushed in. Rox is going to be looking for something here next to instead going for the Cloud Drake. Mickey has recalled. Here comes uh, Empty. We see him in the zone, spotted by a ward. Weaver's wall. Still on cooldown. Mickey's teleport still on cooldown. Are they eyeing this top lane? Yeah, I believe that BTR really wants this. And right now, the Talia ult is used. Realm War coming in. Fisher, what a great lockdown from BTR to pitch Zencho in the pillar. Rox is there for the save. BTR, what a great job there. Trying to lock down Zencho and succeed in taking down the second turret for the team. Yeah, but Archangel recognizing that they are three members of Bigatron Esports in the top side, even using that ultimate from the Talia, they immediately go towards that mid lane and takes the first turret of the game for Archangel. Oh, ho, what's this? Red side? Ah, exactly. That's gonna be them taking away there. But, okay, we're seeing Archangel getting great kills here and there, but you gotta hand it to BTR. They know how to play across the map, and they've also catched up slowly towards the gold lane here. I mean, we, they have two turrets. They have one kill behind. It's still okay. But now, when it comes to late game, can they handle Mink? This hmm. PR is a powerful split pusher. I am not sure if they can handle Minky, but at the same time, if Trevor gets to a point that he can just stay at the side lane and match Minky's, uh, Minky's shove, at the same time, they also have Ivalis on that rise. They may be able to just stave him off 
but it looks like Archangel wants to make oh, a no. play here in the bot lane. Look at that, PTR, they're gonna pinch them, Zensho being singled out again, you're not getting anywhere, that's gonna be the passive prop by Dreams, and that's gonna be it for Zensho, making him his fourth death, 0 4 one on Zensho. Yeah, and Zensho in the past few minutes, it just feels like he's not on the same page as the rest of his team, keeps getting caught out, but luckily for them, Trevor and Nixta are quite ahead of their counterparts, that's why they still have this slight gold lead, especially oh, noticing the CS from Nixta right now he has 85 compared to the 53 from Zico. He better carry his own weight because it's gonna be nearing the 50 minute mark. I mean the Baron's gonna spawn in six minutes but still you gotta prep for the coming of the purple worm here and pick it on esports. Look at that Fiora 4-2-0. I guess we know who's I guess we know where Mick is getting those kills from. He already has the cleave. Uh, Facer what a close call by Bravo. Shock plus nearing death for Bravo. That's instantly enough for BTR2. Ball back. Yeah, and they're now, they might back off from the mid lane, but they're still trying to challenge Archangel here. No, they're just gonna retreat for now after clearing that wave. Mm -hmm. Six to six uh, kill score here. All right, we're seeing a heavy focus onto Zentro when it comes to deaths here. And not to mention, he's the one trying to answer the push from Minky, and that's not what you want to do. Yeah, exactly. You don't really want to see your marksman who keeps on falling and dying here at the side lanes. Right now, he is. He is with rocks, but I believe Minky can just two v one them at oh, this point. Oh, I don't think that's gonna be enough. Two levels behind too. Yeah, but Minky is respecting the bot lane of Archangel right now. Also, Trevor is probably gonna move. No, he just put down that ward. But they are setting up to get the outer tier turret here in the bot lane. They're lingering around. Focus right now in the mid lane. What a snipe from Trevor, chalking down Bravo, but he can just heal up from the life steal. Abyssal Voyage is here. Next to going in and gets denied by Dreams. Fisher locking it out. Looks like Rox takes out Trevor from danger, but at the cost of the shutdown. Next to gives it to Minky. I am not sure what was that ultimate coming from Rox right there. It felt like he was giving Zensho too big a shot eastwards. Zensho does get out, but at the cost of Nix's life and the mid tier, uh, the outer tier turret in the mid lane. Oh boy, seven to six kills for BTR, looking very good right now. They're doing all they can to win back this game. Rough star in the red side, no sweat. We got three turrets in the hands here. Archangel now, they're ones trying to catch up with the pace of BTR. Yeah, and there has been a, some questionable decisions, I would say, from Archangel. They were dictating the tempo at first. They were trying to punish Bigatron Esports, especially when they were overstaying in the top lane, getting objectives across the map. But a few small mistakes from Archangel. These these mistakes has been costing them the tempo in this game. Mm -hmm. Looking at Minky, that's scary. I mean, majority of your gold, your kills is on this Fiora. Uh, you better invest three members right now. We can see Trevor trying to uh, tattle, uh, trying to catch up in the river but we'll go back to his mid lane so I'm pretty scared of Minky. Yeah and I, I would agree that he's currently 5-2-0 going for that Triforce and Bigatron Esports they're trying to defend the outer tier turret oh, here in the bot lane. Rock's getting slowed. Are they gonna go for more? Nope that will just be a disengage. Ward just expired in the brush near the bot side there. Archangel does not have vision and control ward has been placed. Yeah, and Minky just finishing off that try first. Along with that Tiamat, he's gonna be the strongest member right now. And if he just keeps split pushing, it will be a constant uh, source of pressure for Archangel. Mm, look at that. We're nearing the 18-minute uh, mark there. Next at this point, did his job. Now it's time for Ivalis, Sancho, and Trevor to try and take some. Trevor has been doing pretty well in this game here. I'm mean, getting Gilmus Ghost play plus the Dusk played. Sancho, on the other hand, I wouldn't say the same. Yeah, I do agree that Trevor has been doing pretty well this game, but at the same time, we haven't really felt a lot of Trevor actually dictating the tempo of the game. It's been mostly Nixta and Rox trying to find ways to get into Bigatron and trying to engage, but Archangel looks it's a good thing. You use your vision, try to not go in there blind. 
I mean, you don't want to go into a blind brush when there is a Talia. Not to mention Minky. Again, he's doing a great job. And that's what you should do on a VR. Keep pressuring the ways. And Ivalis at this point, he's just the one catching it. Late game comes. I want to see, can Ivalis actually take over the game as a rise? Yeah, that's what I would want to see as well. His Ivalis, uh, I mean Ivalis on that rise earlier was a bit underwhelming, I would say. But at this point, Archangel should remember what... I believe Mega Esports did earlier against Kuala Lumpur Hunters. They tried and just waited out the game at first and got, tried to get more gold. But it looks like Bigiton Esports is forcing the issue here. Oh my god, BTR Dreams denying so much damage from Zancho. That's what you want. They're focusing on the turret. BTR only sees the turret. Next us is MT. MT can go for a Weaver's Wall. They know it. They are backing up. You can have it. We won't deal with you anymore. Four turrets for BTR. Great job. But in Indonesia squad. Yeah, and you would see right there how, how far Zensha is in terms of items compared to his counterpart, Bravo. He is 2 0 2 right now on that Zaya with 170 CS. And Bigatron Eastberg, before exiting, is also getting that Ocean Drain. Oh man, look at that. They're taking everything from the map here. BTR coming back from this game, taking back everything. Oh, Nixta, you're on the ward. Oh, did not see that coming. He is forced to flash away. Weaver's Wall. It's gonna be used here. Nixta still survives. Trevor waiting in the brush. Empty for the flash in. He overextends. Trevor with a sidestep. He's low. Empty. One more shot. Flash in. Gets denied by the unbreakable. Dreams with the save. But Sancho with the secure. But the killer instinct. Meanwhile, across the map, Mickey solo kills Trevor. Taking him down with a shot. That Trevor is gone. The main damage of Archangel is not present. This is. Bad rock save central Bravo, great finish storm and locking on the members of Archangel, but Ivalis finally coming back online. Let's go! Shot down, double kill, wraps up the fight in the mid lane. Yeah, and it's a one for four in favor of Archangel. It looks like they're gonna try and get this mid lane out, uh, inner tier turret, and it looks like Archangel just got back into this game. That's what I'm gonna see. A rise that can take over a game is a great rise. We've seen it in our previous games. Day one, day two. A rise that can take over is a great rise here. Archangel, they finally came online. But look at Mickey, man. 6 to an 0. QSS completed. He's feeling pretty confident. I mean, if Mickey's there, Archangel, they have no other choice but to respect this Fiora. Yeah, and after Mickey gets Trevor, he did leave immediately. And here's a replay. We see Nixta. MT was trying to really chase him down, expending his ultimate and his flash. Nixa did not fall down easily though, but Trevor goes in on MT and we'll look just see here how... Oh, look at yeah. Dreams, yeah, yeah. And Ivalis, you just... This is the part of the fight, they just keep kiting it out, but Zendro gets the finishing blow on MT. On the other side though, Minky takes down Trevor, he, did, he does lead the fight. And at this point, the two teams are just trying to kill each other out. They both want to fight, they both want to get the momentum. Bravo does use his ultimate, but in the end, oh Ivalis on that rise just popped off, takes down mem a lot of members from Bigatron Esports. And I guess they were a bit surprised. Rox did use the exhaust. No wonder Bravo did not deal enough damage to wipe out the members of Archangel. So will they have the same luck next time? Will they have it available? Time will tell, but we do see a Knight's Vow being completed by Rox. Yeah, but if we were looking at the gold right now, it's super close at like 300. Only 300 lead for Archangel, but they do only have two towers compared to the four from Brigaton Esports. So if they are able to get those tower gold from those two standing towers, they can get a more significant lead at this point. Mm -hmm. It's all about the turret score and the Baron dance here. The Baron is live right now. BTR looking for any wards. They don't realize there's a ward right there, but BTR happy to control ward. That's what they want. Yeah, they did miss that ward, but Trevor is also recalling along with Nixta. But Trevor did cancel out his recall, but at this point of the game when Megatron or at least one of the teams are trying to go for that Baron Dance, it is a point where one team can get some breathing room, can get some more gold, and it is much needed for Archangel, especially on Zensho. Mm -hmm. Look at this, man. Baron is live right now. I mean, you're talking about Zensho. Is he coming back online? Ah, he does not have the Rage Blade just yet. Oh, this is good. Next up. Okay, misses that Shockwave. So, 
Okay, not a resonate strike towards that, so he won't land a set for his team. Yeah, and at this point, both teams don't really have the best forms of engage. Uh, Bigatron might have a s just to set up the engage with that frontal pillar, but looks like Archangel might be getting pinched here. Three members, four members collapsing onto Dexta. Rox coming in, Fisher misses the target there. What a round more save! Rox is left behind, forcing out his flash. Trevor is still far away, same with MP. 4v4 here, guys. Ivel is leading the charge. He's looking for someone to bind. Next up, can he go for something here? No, they're slowing down their pace. Knight's bow. That's gonna be a bow towards Zandro. Let's hope he delivers. Now Zeko is cutting out the blue side. Yeah, and that blue buff was given to Ivalis. It would be really good on that rise so that he can just keep shoving one of the side lanes. But yeah, going back to that fight, both teams recognize that they are collapsing in the bot lane, collapsing on main team because if you have a really strong split pusher, the other team's target should be killing that split pusher so that there's a lot of pressure taken off the map. Mm. So that's why BTR immediately shadowed Archangel right there. Luckily for both teams, none of, none of them took too much damage from that encounter. And now the fact is, it's all about chipping the damage in, I mean, make the enemy weaker as, as always, man. Yeah. You gotta watch out the Baron Pit. Yeah, I you mean, always have to look at the Baron Pit. Yeah, I mean, the way that Archangel's playing here, I think BTR, I like what they're doing here. I mean, they're trying to force Archangel, but they're not biting just yet. Yeah, both teams are actually playing pretty safe. They're respecting each other so much, but also what's at stake oh! here? But Nexta going in! Resonating strike! Nexta trying to go for the plague! Trying to flush out MT! Double teleport! Riverside! Looks like a party! Sancho! Tags down MT! Featherstorm in and out! Bravo! Going onto rocks! And now Sancho on the side going into Dreams! Dreams pops the stasis! They just got paid and Mickey going in onto Trevor instantly gets popped. Mickey's in night has been tech. Finally the shutdown they're looking for, but this is huge for BTR. Yeah, that is a huge fight for Bigatron Esports. They take four members of Archangel while there's only two members falling down from them. They're now trying to secure this Baron, but they choose to break away when they realize that it's still Nyxta on this Leeson who is still alive for Archangel. Man, BTR, well played there. Let's check out the replay. Yeah, it all started right here. Nyxta hitting that resonating strike, trying to get a kill, trying to get a pick on Bigatron Esports, but Trevor going in on MT. It is a really messy fight right here on two fronts. Uh, Zentro did go on MT, takes him down, but at this point in the game, it's just, it's just gonna be bad for Archangel because at that point they were too they're too separated oh. and all of their main damage dealers are really low so Nixa just left just left Ival is there for dead essentially I felt like they had different goals in that clash they weren't on the same page but let's hopefully right now now's the time they need to work together Rocks it's up the trundle Fisher Weaver's Wall what Ibelis. a pitch Ivalis can't do anything Ralmart is going in for that reposition Trevor trying to snipe in the members of BTR they're chasing. Rocks going back. Mickey with a parry. Trevor can't do anything here too much. He's trying to survive. He can't die. Sancho is going to solo Mickey. He backs away. Next to on the flag trying to flush anyone out. But in the end, he got chucked. Sancho left alone under this turret. BTR well played. Yeah, well played from Bigatron Esports. I thought that Zico was the one who was going to get picked off. But both junglers right now. And also Zencho and Rocks fallen for Archangel and wow, Bigatron with that Baron Dance, they just baited in Archangel into that fight. I mean, uh, at least for a fact that Trevor is the one not suffering the kill, uh, death just yet. They can lose away the main damage dealer at this point. Uh, I would say Ivis and Trevor will be the more reliable damage instead of Zentro. Minky trying to buy some time with the parry, but that's not going to be a time. QSS pop. Is he going to survive? One more hit, but he gets away with his life. MT is there. Trying to get the scuttle vision. Ah, didn't get it in time. Goes to Archangel. Yeah, that scuttle crap goes on Archangel, but it looks like Bigatron still wants to fight. Mm, they're looking for more. Zentro's yet to come online. Look at that. Bravo has three items. No wonder Asensio just has to wait to get his own rapid fire cannon. So we're looking at next up, taking away the ocean break. But BTR, there's bigger goals here. The yeah. Baron. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger one right now is just 
focusing here in the mid lane wants to get that mid lane priority to be able to get that Baron but at the same time Nixa just sneakily getting that Ocean Drake I thought Bravo was about to check that but instead he is going for that side lane just shoving it in at the same time these are some of the things that you need to prepare so that you can probably win the the fight or just the pull and push for that Baron dance and also Ivalis he is ramping up in this game at around 28 minutes he has the completed Seraph's Embrace the Morello Nomicon and that Spellbinder okay when the Spellbinder is 100 stacks that's gonna be the fight that Archangel will look for yeah exactly since it gives so much power to Ivalis and he is a rise is still one of the strong late game sources of damage oh. but there's a fight right here Yo, great pillar wow that pillar catching the members of Archangel Trapper tried to go in there PTR in a bad spot, they're backing away, Archangel is chasing in, Minky, Nexta, can he go for it? Oh, parry is available, Grand Challenge has been burned out to Nexta, BTR looking at the sleeves in there, Weaver Swamp, Pillar, Nexta is pinched, Nexta trying to get away, Fisher misses the target, chill, trying to run away, resonates away, all the members of BTR totally out to Nexta, they're trying to chase down the sleeves in, but still, Zico is he gonna go for the Pillar, and show, getting slow by the Frostbite, Sancho getting knocked by the Ice Pillar, what a Dragon Rage, what a save from Rocks, but Bravo finally takes out Zencho. Yeah, and a great set of pillars from Zico. He keeps trapping members oh. of Archangel and they're looking to get this inhibitor turret. Ivalis, it's time you're shy. Time for you to shine as a rise. But right now, Archangel, they know they cannot risk anymore. Rock's going in for a slow trapper, misses a snipe. Mickey is doing all the damage he can. Enough for BTR to fall back. A huge wave is gonna crash in top side though. Yeah, but for Bigatron, their only objective right there was to get a structure to get that inhibitor turret so that next time, if Minky would decide to split push in the bottom side, it would be a larger threat for Archangel. I mean, what's the difficulty that Archangel is having right now? At the same time, what is Peter doing better than them? You know, I think it's more of the team fighting compositions for for both teams. Uh, for Archangel, they do have that Rise who deals a lot of damage. They do have a Marksman and that Top Catch that would relatively make them safe, but they don't have a tank that would just absorb most of the damage coming from the Saya, from the Talia, that would just block those damage so that Trevor, Zensho, and Ivalis can just freely hit their targets. They don't have that, so we see every time Ivalis going for these flanks, always at the side of the fight, always trying to find a way in. But he can't since Zico, Binky, and Empty are just super strong at zoning him out. Mm, late game is really gonna be in favor of Archangel if they can actually really go online here. But for BTR, I'm just really worried about this Minky. I mean, Minky on this VR is gonna be a beast. He's doing a great job by zoning out the members of Archangel. Yeah, and actually, if you think about the composition for Bigatron Esports right now, it should be what we're seeing actually exactly here. Minky at the side lane, keeps on split pushing, keeps on putting the pressure on Archangel, but they are also team fighting Archangel and winning. You don't usually see that on these kinds of compositions, but it is because of the gold lead at this point. Okay. Look, gold lead in their favor. Maybe they can start something here. Zensho is in the front line. Realmart's going in. Next to gets shoved. What a huge damage. He's instantly melted. Flashing over that Talia. Uh, That's not gonna happen there. Rock still has a thick skin. But meanwhile, Minky pushing away the inhibitors. Archangel being caught up by the Weaver's wall. What's gonna happen? All of them pitched against the wall here. They're pinging. Minky doesn't care. He's trying to end the game. But in time, Zencho nicks the response. He gets popped. Minky is a beast. He's going for the dive. Double kill. It's his. He takes him down. Grand challenge for the heal. Yeah. And a great flash Q from Minky right there secures the kill on Nixta, and he's still going here. Not stopping, not gonna slow down. Going on to Ivalis, finally Minky. He can go for more, what a close call! Ivalis survived. But he's just buying time for his team to get and secure this Baron, the first Baron of the game for Bigatron Esports. And now, teleport, a bit too late. Bye, no, can't happen, won't happen. PTR takes it away to Baron with a great macro play there from the bot lane. Minky did his job. You know, I thought at one point right there that Trevor might, his accelerated Q might be able to reach the Baron and get the steal. But unfortunately, Bigatron Esports 
took that down so fast and was able to secure that pack. My god. I mean, BTR at this point, they're the ones really more hungry to get away with that one win. And for Archangel, mm, I wonder what's gonna happen. But, let's check out a replay to see what's happened. Yeah, so these two teams right here want to force this play, especially Archangel. They know that Minky is about to destroy that inhibitor on the bot side of the map. So Archangel forces the fight. Another great pillar from Zico, I would want to mention, on the uh, bottom side of the lane that really trapped Archangel to a point, especially that Talia wall as well. I thought right here that if BTR was are able to stop Archangel, then Minky would just finish the game. But Minky going oh. full man mode, <laughs> killing it, Nixta instantly and tries to chase down. Zentro eventually gets that kill. Oh man, that's a great double kill. Minky, well played there. Winning, trying to win the game for his team. But back to the life here. Archangel now lost the inhibitor in the bot side. Of course, PTR has the Baron. And also Minky pressuring the top lane. Yeah, and right now, Bigatron Esports sees the blood in the water. Wants to finish this game. Wants to get their first win here in Group B. But Archangel trying their best to go for the defense here. Can they look for a set? Trevor's too busy in the top side. Minky still pressuring, making Archangel very uncomfortable. They're trying to match the pressure from BTR, but they're strong with five members and they have the Baron Bob. Yeah, and BTR just going textbook right here, but Zico is super low. Glacial Fissure is there for the disengage. Archangel tries to buy more time, but BTR just winning the game slowly. Yeah, they do textbook, uh, textbook League of Legends right now, getting that, in, getting turrets. And they're trying to get the middle oh, inhibitor. Oh, Dreams is very low. He's going to be slow. Sancho will be the one to go in for the kill. Bravo's Guardian Angel has been popped. He's going to come back from the dead. He's going to be seen alive. Bravo. Oh, he still takes someone down. But Archangel, oh, can they survive here? I think not. The minions are flooding to their base. And it's going to be... BTR with a cleanup in the mid lane! Then it's only Zensho left alive for Archangel. He's being zoned out by Minky. And it looks like Bigatron Esports might be able to finish the game right here. They just see what BTR did. What a well play from the Indonesia squad. It's gonna be Bigatron Esports closing day to with their own victory. GG well played. Yeah, GG well played to Bigatron Esports. The top seed, the only team coming from Indonesia getting one win against the second seed of the Philippines. Oh man, did you see that last moment where Bravo, I thought he would die. Great flash out to survive and at the end, it's gonna be Archangel still ending the day here with a 0-3. But, looks like Bigotron Esports still has some fight in them. They will end with a 1-2. Yeah, and we see right here there's the resilience of these two teams. Even though it looked like that, the... The game was topsy-turvy. It felt like one of them, every moment of the game, both teams had a chance to win. But we did see eventually that Bigatron Esports had this big tank in the trundle. Oh, yeah. That just kept... And also Zico, his pillars were super on point on a lot of those fights that really enabled them to chase down these skills. They didn't have the best engage, but that trundle pillar, if used effectively, really shows how much engage potential it can give to a team. My god, I mean, wrapping up this day, guys, that has been match number six, the last match for day two of the GCM group stages. Let's check out the standings to see how it's gonna turn out. But of course, I'm gonna say it here it's gonna be Mega Esports getting in with a 3 0, followed by Qualiper Hunters with a 2 1, and Megatron Esports ending it with a 1 2. But for Archangel, still there is hope. They will end with a 0-3. Yeah, and Archangel mirroring the first day performance of Mineski, also ending the day with a 0-3. But don't lose. I don't think they should lose hope yet. There's still statistically, there's still a chance for both of these teams to make make it out of groups. It's just that they need to probably win the rest of their games. So we'll see that as we move on to day three. Yeah. I mean, it's been a roller coaster for right here, and Archangel tried their best, but Pikachu and Esports, they were better, and they will successfully wrap it up here, guys. So I think this is going to be a uh, transition towards day three. Yeah. What's going to be on day three, guys? Of course, it's going to be the GCM group stages, third day, but this will be the second rotations for, of course, group 
A. Yeah. Let's see how Ascension Gaming, the 3 0 team that ended their day one, will perform and will they still uphold it as we will see you tomorrow. Yeah, and also I'm actually really excited for Team Resurgence. They did get that 2 1 yesterday, but I feel like in terms of relative strength in that group, they can probably close it out and get out of this uh, get out of groups towards the semifinals. But I won't count out Mineski because the two losses, their first two losses, were pretty close games, especially to Team Anything. They were ahead for the most part, and they almost actually won that game. And actually, we're seeing the standings right now for Group B. As mentioned earlier, Mega Esports does get that first place. So, of course, this will be us signing up for now. Tomorrow, let's see how Ascension Gaming, Team Anything, and Resurgent and Mineski, how will they pan out in our third day for Group A? So, I guess this is it for me and Crazy Apple. Thank you so much for watching the Globe Conquerors Manila group stages. We love your support and we hope to see you tomorrow again. It's been great with you guys. But of course, we have to sign off. But of course, we're going to be seeing you again tomorrow. See you there. Good night. Trapper from danger, but at the cost of the shutdown. Next, I gives it to Minky. I am not sure what was that ultimate coming from Rox right there. It felt like he was giving Zencho too big a shot esports. Zencho does get out, but at the cost of Pixel's life and the mid tier, uh, the outer tier turret in the mid lane. Oh boy, 76 kills for BTR. Yeah, Looking it's very be used there. Nexta still survives. Trevor waiting in the brush. Empty for his flash in. He overextends. Trevor with a side step. He's low. MP. One more shot. Flash and gets denied by the unbreakable. Dreams with the save. But Sancho with the secure. But the killer instinct. Meanwhile, across the man, Mickey solo kills Trevor. Taking him down with a shot. That Trevor is gone. The main damage of Archangel is not present. This is bad. Rock save Sancho. Bravo. Great finish storm. And locking on the members of Archangel. But I feel it. Finally coming back online. Let's go! Resonating Shutdown. strike. Next to trying to go for the break. Trying to flush out MT. Double teleport. Riverside looks like a party. Sancho takes down MT. Fetish storm in and out. Bravo going on the rocks. And now Sancho on the side going into Dreams. Dreams pops the stasis. They just got paid and Mickey going in on to Trevor. Instantly gets popped. Mickey's a night has been ticked. Finally, the shot that they're looking for, but this is huge for BTR. They need to work together. Yeah. Rocks, it's up the trundle. Fisher, Weaver's Wall. What Ivalice. a pitch! Ivalis can't do anything. Round mark is going in for that reposition. Trevor trying to snipe in the members of BTR. They're chasing. Rocks. Going back, Mickey with a parry. Trevor can't do anything here too much. He's trying to survive. He can't die. Sancho is gonna solo Mickey. He backs away next to Arthur. Arthur is an Alibo Gang challenge has been burned out to next up. BTR looking at this lease in there. Weaver Swan Pillar. Next up is Pinch. Next up trying to get away. Fisher misses the target. Chill trying to run away. Resonate away. All the members of BTR are totally not the next up. They're trying to chase down this lease in. But still, Zico is he gonna go for the pillar? And show getting slowed by the frostbite Sancho getting knocked by the ice pillar. What a dragon rage! What a save from Rocks! But Bravo finally takes down Sancho. Yeah, and a great set of pillars from Zico. He keeps trapping members oh. of Archangel. They're looking to get this inhibitor turret. Ivalis, it's time you're shy. Time for you to shine as a rise. But right now, Archangel, they know they cannot risk anymore. Rocks going in for a slow Trevor misses a snipe. Mickey is doing Jump all the damage. Huge damage. He's instantly melted, flashing over that Leah. Uh, that's not gonna happen there. Rock still has a thick skin. But meanwhile, Mickey pushing away the inhibitors. Archangel being caught up by the Weaver's wall. What's gonna happen? All of them pitched against the wall here. They're pinging. Mickey doesn't care. He's trying to end the game. But in time, Central next to response. He gets popped. Mickey is a beast. He's going for the dive. Double kill, it's his! He takes him down, grand challenge for the heal! Yeah, and the point is gonna come back from the dead. He's gonna be seen alive. Bravo! Oh, he still takes someone down! But Archangel, or can they survive here? I think not. The minions are flooding to their base, and it's going to be BTR with a cleanup in the mid lane! Yeah, it's only Zencho left alive for Archangel. He's Megatron Esports. 
might be able to finish the game right here. And just see what PTR did. What a well played from the Indonesia squad. It's going to be Bigatron Esports losing day to with their own victory. GG well played. Yeah, GG well played to Bigatron Esports.